After Holly wrote her book, you know, that thing, you know, where she kind of bashed her life at the mansion and, and you know, bashed me in it as well, um, I got, of course, mad at, at first and I responded to it. And I went through a phase of forgiveness. And I went through a phase of like, you know what, so be it. You know, she deserves to have her side, whatever. And now, today, <laughs> when I see that she's on the cover, cover of People magazine saying she lived in fear while she was living at the mansion, that right there set me over the edge. That right there twisted my gut, you know? Because she's making herself a victim. You lived at the Playboy Mansion. You chose to live there. You chose to get your plastic surgery. You know, you didn't live, you didn't, you weren't at a church, okay? You chose to live in a relationship with Hef that was an open relationship with multiple women, okay? Like, and so it wasn't private. Her relationship with Hef was not private. Her relationship was open. I saw everything. If I for once remember and saw a tear coming from her eye, if I for once felt that she was being real and if she came over to me for once and became a human being and said, oh, I'm having a bad day with Hef today, right now would have been a whole different story. I would have been like, oh, you know, she, you know, she probably went through her things, you know, I feel, for, feel bad for her, but I can't do that because she walked around that place with her nose in the air. This is my house. I'm having my babies with Hef. I'm taking over um, the guest house. That's my house. Painted it, did all the thing, wanted to get married, had it all picked out, had the babies all, you know. And I'm like, and now she's saying she's living in fear. She, li she lived in fear. Uh, I, I think that's a feeling of what she's feeling now. They were in, in a real relationship. You're gonna go through, when you're in a real relationship, you're gonna go through some fighting. So, you know, what she's saying about Hef is, you know, people are taking it like taboo, like, oh, this 80 year old man's doing this. No, she wanted to marry him. That's a real relationship. You know, now she, she didn't get what she wanted. She didn't get the baby. She didn't get the marriage. She didn't get, you know, uh, the editor of Playboy that she desperately wanted and her house across the street that she desperately wanted. So years later, eight years later, you know, she's trying to run because she never got it. Imagine if she did have that kid with Hef. Would she be talking now? No, she wouldn't be, would she? <laughs> that's, that's the fact. So it just boggles, it makes me super angry when people play victim. It makes me sick to my stom stomach when people play victim, when they have no right to play victim. Living at the Playboy Mansion was a time of my life. You know, it was five years out of my life that I do not regret. It was five years of my life. Yes, I had sex with a 70-year-old man. I did get paid for it, you know. I, I had a great time. Um, nothing, you know, I, we were treated very well. It wasn't like a situation where we were treated like meat, like people think like that. People think of it like that. We were treated very nicely. We had cars. We had shopping sprees. We had, I mean, everything anybody could dream of and more. You know, private chefs, private planes, trips around the world. I'm sorry, like, and now she's playing victim? That's just not fair. I don't, no one else in this world is gonna speak up against her. I'm doing it. No one else is gonna do it because maybe they're scared. You know, Hef won't ever do it. He's too much of a nice guy. You know, people just don't want to get involved in drama. But I have to be the one to do it because no one else is going to do it. She's not telling the truth. And this is, you know, I have to be the one to speak up.